Good evening. If I may, I'd like to take you back to mid-July on a post office van robbery in Basingstoke we covered on Police 5. The detectives investigating tell us they were able to use the Police 5 broadcast in the most unexpected and successful way. And maddeningly, I can't tell you how, because they've made arrests and the matter is sub judice. So, patience, all will be revealed in court, no doubt. Recently, there have been a spate of thefts all over the country of leather three-piece suites worth between fifteen hundred and two and a half thousand pounds each. Come with me to the latest. Just leather on the Churchfields Industrial Estates at Salisbury and Wiltshire is the scene of our first investigation. During the night of Monday the seventh, that's last Monday week, they had some customers they could well do without. They didn't even bother to use the front door. Probably because they were just about to steal nine leather three-piece suites and take them out through the back door. Now, these will give you an idea of the sort of suites that were stolen. I say give you an idea because they are exclusive to just leather, imported from Germany and Italy for them and not on sale anywhere else. So where are the thieves going to sell the ones that they have stolen? In order to get them away, they borrowed, if that is the word, two vans from the estates. This one, a blue and white van, which they had a bit of a problem with because it only had about a gallon and a half of petrol in it and they wouldn't get very far before it stopped. Indeed, I'm quite sure that's what happened because when it was found in Chipping Sodbury near Bristol, it still had the tow rope from the other van on it. Now, the other van hasn't been recovered. That's a royal blue in colour, identical in shape, and its number is JEL559V. Where have they dumped that? And was the other one dumped in the Chipping Sodbury area, just to take attention away from this area around here, from, say, Salisbury down to the coast along the Bournemouth? Well, it is a thought. The other suite that I would like to concentrate on is this one. They took the trouble to drag one similar to this from the other showroom right the way through, and yet it is one of the cheapest suites of the lot. Why were they so bothered? Do you suppose one of the thieves took to this colour and thought it would look nice in his own home? There is something else. They stole some of these pictures as well, flower pictures that were just really for decoration. Do you think they stole those for personal use? No. If that thief is sitting comfortably on a settee like this, watching Police 5, you might be less comfortable in a moment because there is a reward on offer for any information that leads to the recovery of the sweets and uh, the discovery of you. If you can help on this at all, get in touch with the detectives at Salisbury on this number on 0722 411 4 or ring your local police. Either way, as always, your call will be strictly confidential. Yamaha Outboards had the stolen goods list this week. Eight of them stolen from Dardinian Large at Parkston Pool between the 1st and the 3rd of September. Where they've been offered for sale on the cheap would be a great interest to pool detectives who can be reached through this number, 0202 22099, calls confidential as always. Ecclesiastical silver stolen at the end of August from the Theological College at Chichester. Unfortunately, I have these pictures to show you exactly what we are looking for. They are mostly hallmark silver, and most have a cross engraved on them. So, if you have been offered any silver that you think could have come from this burglary, give Chichester Detectives a ring on this number on 0243 784433, and they will follow up your lead from there. Finally, to a crime that is on the increase, and carries a word of warning to shopkeepers who hire out video cameras. For a comparatively small deposit, thieves are hiring video cameras under a false name and address, and obviously not returning them. This gentleman gave a false name and address and was fleetingly caught on camera. Fleetingly, but perhaps just long enough for someone watching to be able to tell Chichester detectives who he is. Certainly his shirt was outstanding. If you can put a name to him, give them a ring on that same number, 0243 784433, and they will set about finding him and the Phillips camcorder that he hired. And incidentally, uh, a tip for hirers of video cameras, which I learned from a shop in Gillingham, and that is they always say to the customer, please, may I point the camera at you and take a shot of you, just in case. If the customer is genuine, they say, sure, fine, go ahead. If not, and they still have the picture taken, 
we always have police five to assist in recovering the camera. I hope you'll give me your company next week as usual. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>